Welcome to this short tutorial where we'll explore why encyclopedias are a great place to start your research. You might be thinking, oh what? But don't worry, we'll get to that soon. Wikipedia is the most popular encyclopedia on the web and the fifth most visited website in the world. I use Wikipedia to get background information on my topic. I look for links to other sources on the web so I can find more information. And I check the reference list to identify books, articles, websites, and videos that might be useful. But the best part about Wikipedia is that I don't need to read a whole book to get a short summary of a complex topic. So why can't I cite Wikipedia in my academic work? Some Wikipedia articles have flags that indicate they are missing information or they need additional citations to substantiate claims. And while Wikipedia has rules that state articles mustn't take sides, but should instead explain the sides fairly and without bias, this is hard to accomplish, since anyone can edit Wikipedia articles. It takes time and many contributions before articles become accurate, well-balanced, and represent multiple perspectives. While factual errors are becoming fewer, Wikipedia articles are still considered unfit for citing in academic work. But did you know the library has hundreds of electronic encyclopedias on a wide range of topics with similar features as Wikipedia? Like Wikipedia, encyclopedia articles provide an overview of a topic, but they're more reliable and well-balanced because they're written by experts. Here's how to find the electronic encyclopedias that are available 24-7 through the Massasoit Library website. In the Discovery search bar on the library homepage, type in Credo Reference. At the top of the result list, you'll see a link to the databases. Click on that. At this point, if you're off campus, you'll be prompted to enter your Massasoit username and password. Now you are in the Credo reference database full of encyclopedias that are specialized for research. Just type in your topic and click search. Notice the articles in the results list are pulled from a variety of encyclopedias, including the Encyclopedia of Women's Health and the Encyclopedia of Indian Culture. These will present different perspectives on the topic of tattoos. Credo also has topic pagers for more general searches that communicate the most general idea about a topic and connect you to other sources. Click on a title that interests you to view the complete article. From here, you can email, print, or download the complete encyclopedia article that you want to read or use for your research. As you read, look for new vocabulary words to use as keywords in future searches. Just like Wikipedia, you can browse the suggested books and articles to track down more detailed information. And by clicking on Cite Article at the top next to those tools, you will get the citation in a variety of formats. As always, be sure to check the citation for errors and ask your instruction if you can cite encyclopedias in your paper or project. So the next time you're starting your research, remember Credo Reference. Encyclopedias can provide the background information you need for a great start to your research. Learning more about the topic can help you pick up new keywords for future searches and discover more articles and books. Just like Wikipedia, our online encyclopedias are available 24-7 through the Massasoit Library website. Have fun exploring your topic. The library has many encyclopedias to choose from, both online and as books in the library. Just ask, we're here to help, so please call, chat online, or visit with the librarian at the reference desk. Good luck with your research!